Hello, and thanks for watching. Let's get right to it. As you can see, a rocket is loaded that I've already built. It's a multi-stage rocket going from bottom to top, then the thumper as the final stage that takes you into space, leaving a liquid fuel engine for movement afterwards. I may make a tutorial about this setup in the future. There is a staging error that is fixed mid-flight. Most likely experienced Kerbal players will tell me why this is a bad layout for a rocket, but it works for me. Make sure you press T to turn on Stability Assist, then Launch. Initially, I hold Shift to turn the throttle all the way up for the first stages. This will get you off the ground as quickly as possible. Until you get up to the high speed, heat will not be an issue. I also start to lean slightly in one direction in order to get more momentum to orbit. At about 5,000 meters, I lower throttle using the control key to reduce speed and therefore heat as you enter the upper to mid atmosphere. As you begin to see air and heat animation on the pod, lower the throttle even more. As the heat dissipates as you enter outer space, turn the throttle all the way up in order to gain as much momentum as possible. Once your heavy rocket has run out of fuel, separate it leaving only your liquid fuel source and engine. Press the M key to go to the map view and see your current trajectory. This one is a bit high as I didn't maintain about 40 degrees on the way into space. Click on your trajectory at the top of the arc, known as the apoapsis, and create a waypoint. You can adjust the waypoint any way you like, but for orbit, prograde is the most important direction. When the countdown timer to the right of your nav ball is close to the burn created by your waypoint, click on the maneuver button and it will point the ship in the direction needed to execute the orbit you have set. When you are very close to the time created by your waypoint, activate your liquid engine by right clicking on it and selecting activate engine. When you are T-10 to T-5, you can throttle up by pressing the shift button. It is very important, however, that you stop the burn when you have about a quarter of your fuel left. When you approach that level, hold down the control key to turn the engine off. Here is where I notice the staging error and fix it. Go back to the map and watch your actual trajectory approach the intended waypoint trajectory. Based on the amount of fuel you have and the power of your engine, you may not be able to actually make a full orbit, but these principles apply whether you achieve orbit or not.
when your orbit is descending or you choose to leave orbit, click on the retrograde button, which will turn your ship in the opposite direction in order to lower orbit. This is where I burn about half of the remaining fuel I have left in a small burst to slow down. Just before entering the atmosphere, I burn the rest. This is required to lower your speed before descending back towards the planet. If you are going too fast, you will explode due to friction in the atmosphere. This is exactly why you have to save some fuel from the initial burn. Once you are completely out of fuel, separate so that only your pod is left. As you enter the atmosphere, be sure that SAS is off so the pod realigns itself. Remember, this is toggled by the T key. Be sure that there is a heat shield on the bottom of your pod when building your ship. I've found that rotating the pod slowly using the Q or E buttons as it heats up stops some of the smaller items on the pod from exploding. If you've retrograded enough to slow your speed, you will make it through the atmosphere safely. When you've slowed to approximately 250 meters per second, it's safe to deploy your parachutes. If you have any questions, suggestions, tips, or just want to talk about what I put in this video, feel free to put in a comment and I'll reply. If you land on a continent rather than the ocean, be sure to EVA, get an EVA report and soil sample for the science, then plant a flag. Hope this helps, and happy flying. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.